Hey everybody, welcome back to Common Sense EU4 Multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Line, as well as Quill Man and Center Roomba. Say hello. Yo, bitch. <laughs> Uncalled for. Sorry. Jesus Christ. I gotta get hardcore the last few episodes. Oh my god. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Aroomba. You don't play magic. Oh, that was good. Nerd. Yeah, Aroomba. Just gonna keep pretending like you guys aren't saying weird things. What a nerd. <laughs> And Quill, you're on thin ice, man. Am I? <laughs> God, I'm sorry. I'll try to do better. Ooh. Good news, I've started coring the final Austrian province. Good news, everyone. Two years, baby. Come on, Danzig. I believe in you. I believe in a thing called love. <laughs> Just listen to the rhythm of my heart. So if I... Oh, what the fuck? That's the darkness, uh... Madness. You don't need to be so confused. It's just a cultural no, reference. No, that's not what I was... Shut up. <laughs> uh, so if I convert Danzig, will the center rush formation disappear? Yes. Nice. Assuming it's the wrong religion. It is. Danzig's the one that's causing a problem. He really is They're like, causing a problem. No, we love the other type of Christianity. Shut up. <laughs> Get out of here with your reformed nonsense. I'm liking these Burgundian loans. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I'm still getting war reparations. Hmm. It's nice. <laughs> I say these provinces I took from Burgundy, I didn't realize they developed them quite this much. That is a lot of corn costs, but that should be Mom, fine. Fucking stop it. I'm sorry? My cat <laughs> is like ripping up fucking paper towels. Wow. That's not okay. I yell at her, she just stares at me like, what are you going to do about it, motherfucker? <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> Stupid cat. We bought a welcome mat, but one of our cats thinks it's a toy. Because no. they have no conceptualization of what this is, right? <laughs> like, oh, sweet, so thanks, just, Dad. Yeah, right? It's like, oh, just what I always wanted. <laughs> like a, a cloth mat, right? <laughs> and it just, like, uh, grabs it with both claws, or like like both sets of legs, and then just rips it apart. <laughs> Oh. They hold onto it with the front legs and the back legs start yeah. kicking and they're like, they put it in Shut their up. mouth and then grip it and then just kick like uh, kangaroo style. Yep. We That's how you know they actually want it dead. Right, exactly. Yeah. We have a little mouth. Start disemboweling things. That you yeah. fill with a catnip and my cat likes to pick it up and just throw it across the room and then like <laughs> run after it. It's adorable. It's, yeah, it's a reminder that deep down inside, they're, uh, they're killers. You know, stone cold killers <laughs> driven by the thermodynamic need for energy. <laughs> <laughs> they like to fuck shit up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We can never escape our unending desire for life. Well, cats are not... A lot of people think cats are not actually domesticated in any way. And in fact, if you see how, like, tigers and lions and stuff, well, especially lions, behave, even, like, undomesticated wild lions, it's like... They're actually pretty cat-like. Like, people can, if they're not hungry, you can basically sort of walk up to them and they're okay with that. And if they know you yeah. and shit, they'll yeah. be nice. I watched this guy who, like, knows this one pack of lions really well. And when they go, when they, when he approaches them, they run up and, like, tackle them and rub on them and stuff. Like, oh, that's adorable. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, all it takes is one lion having a bad day, though. Whack. Yeah, I mean, I've been whacked by my cat before. Right. It's yeah. not pleasant. My succession is safe, everybody. Oh, Yay. bullshit. <laughs> Cancel your royal marriage with me. <laughs> no. Do it, you won't. I guess the other, the only difference between, like, the domesticated cats and lions is that when lions are hungry, they will attack you. Cats, they'll just meow at you until you feed them. Yeah, that's true. Or start scratching and stuff. That's true, like, come on, you fucking asshole, feed me. <laughs> I don't have a cat, so I can't comment. Sorry, Roomba. Uh, Roomba doesn't have ma doesn't you guys, play magic. He, he doesn't have cats. <laughs> hmm. I know you guys just you choose the topics that I can't comment on. It's not fair. I'll go Don't get worry. a cat. I'll be right back. I'll go buy some magic cards <laughs> and cat and a cat. One day we'll talk about the intricacies of creating spreadsheets for Eve Online commodity yeah. trading. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Are you ready? <laughs> I, 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 I watched I the have, stream. I have one of those. Yeah. I can. Do, yeah. So what you're yeah. saying is you're still really into Eve right now. Well, a bit. It's uh, you know, it's a slow game. It takes like what seven years until your character can actually fly a ship. <laughs> so, I mean, a yeah, ship I'm, I'm waiting. Being worth seven in-game years, right? No, no. 
No, you no, can fly no, like, a ship right away. Totally serious. If you want to fly like one of the really cool big ships that are like fancy and all that, it literally takes years. Oh like my a capital God. ship, yeah. Because the way Eve works is not like experience points or anything. You just queue up the skills you want your character to learn, and they're trained over hours, like actual life hours. In real okay, time. Yeah, yeah, all in real Even time. Even when you're not logged in. Right, so you just queue up what you want to do, and your character will just get better over time. It is a literal time sink. <laughs> that is wild. Yeah. So I'm hoping that France doesn't take any territory that actually borders me. I've left this little wedge of Burgundy. Little spacer. <laughs> so now, unfortunately, I am. I have so much aggressive expansion now, and knowing that we have like what one more video, two more at most. Yeah, something like uh, that. That there's just no even, not even a point. I have 250 aggressive expansion with like everyone now. Ooh, Regency. Yeah, that's very, I don't know how you, uh, very, very, very annoying. That's how you're gonna spend the last episodes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm happy I get a lot of warring. Like I well, got that out of my system. Could you imagine if I was waiting to do something and now all of a sudden it's like, nope, that's it. You can't. You don't get to do anything for the rest of the game forever now. Yeah. Yeah, but you are 13, so it yeah, won't be too bad. Hmm. <sighs> Stability hit though. That was annoying. I have to spend my money or my admin points on that. Although, my air does have five admin, which is really good, because it's what I need right now. So I'm not thinking of going to war with my vassal. That's <laughs> absurd. However, I did look at the screen out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. I have allies. Um, that's fine. Uh, I have allies with um, Russia and Spain, so Hungary does as well. If I were to declare war on Hungary, Russia would come to their defense. What? I guess it's like, you know, if you're friends with me, you'd be friends with my kid brother. And if I was like, hey, I'm going to punch my brother in the face, you'd be like, yo, don't do that. <laughs> That's messed up. Also, if you break off the vassalage, you get a truce for what, a year? Mm. Something like that. Sensible. Yeah, it's reasonable. Oh, thank God. Yeah, what? Every time the Ottomans declare war, as long as it's not on me. Mm-hmm. Really gonna be concerned about that, huh? They got not too many other targets. The the surface area just lines up perfectly. And can I not marry Holland? Oh yes I can. I do not like how you can't see like with vassals you can see how they're doing on coring, but for some reason marches you cannot. Oh. Because they're Are not a vessel. Right? Yeah. It's just I want to know how they're doing. I, I did just notice I accidentally gave him enough overextension that he's over 100%, so... Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I overfed him a little bit. But... I can see the little man working on a province. Let's see, do I want to attack all of Sunni? <laughs> attack, attack the Ottomans, Makarai, Tunis, Crimea, Shirvan. I could call in Mathis. Yeah, I'm, I'll <laughs> we, march my ass down there and start attacking them. It'll, be, it'll go well, I'm sure. <laughs> the Ottomans are fucking gigantic. Yeah, I noticed true. that neither of you leave your forts on, on uh, mothballed mode <laughs> on my border anymore. Not anymore, no. I only did it that one time after that war. Like, more recently because I desperately needed a bit of cash and it didn't feel like you would be in position to try anything right right then but there we go yeah are you have you guys upgraded them from level one? Oh yeah actually uh, some of them are upgrading now maybe but which I probably shouldn't tell you but there it is <sighs> all right okay. hey we're now accepting Austrian hey You, you want to know what I think about that? What do you think about that? Oh, you're threatening our trade. You're giving me an embargo. Yes. <laughs> you know, I'm impressed. There's a time where you would not know why you got a, uh, <laughs> a gas's belly. It's taken a while, but, uh, you know, I'm getting there. This game wants me to build a fleet, and I don't want to. 
Doomsday. Doomsday. <laughs> oh, all glory to us. Plus one Diplo rep. All right. Be relevant if the HRV is more of a thing, but you know. Quill, are any of the other pandemic, uh, like sub games, good? Like Brink of Disaster or yeah, in the, in the lab or whatever it's called. Uh, I think Brink is a good one. I can't remember. There's definitely one that adds some interesting stuff. A few more roles that are cool, and I think support for like an extra player. Oh, cool. Um. And one of them adds like a bunch of variant rules that most people don't play with, like like a special virus mutation something. Okay. Or other. I don't own them, but when I played on Vassal and I did a board game night, it had the expansions, and it was like, oh, that was really good. I'm happy about them. Oh, cool. All right, good to know. Oh, there we go. Burgundy split in half. Yeah, France yeah, ruled by you. France. Look at that. So much for your border, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, I figured that would probably happen, but. Yeah, France has rivaled you. They they would be a natural ally for me now, but negative 240 aggressive expansion. That That is a lot. The problem with, with doing that, though, is eventually you get to this point where every single war is a coalition war, and they're just so annoying because of the extra reasons for enthusiasm yeah. and negative reasons for peace. and They last so much longer. Makes every war into a grind. All right, fucking the Reformation Center for Reformed has disappeared. Danzig has been yes. converted. Rats. Thank you. Thank God. Yeah, mine converted over really fast. I don't remember if it was an event or if it got converted by another center Reformation. Because I flipped to Reform for like an episode and created a center Reformation and then I switched to Protestant, which I'm happy about. It'd be nice if I could soak in my vassals before the series ends, but <laughs> I don't think so. Too much A to burn off with them. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Do that. Get more trade power, plus 20%. Well, efficiency, which isn't quite as potent as it used to be, I think. Don't remember how the math changed, but... Saxon declares war on Poland. Well, might as well. Poland, I, I was working towards an alliance. We couldn't do it because uh, our, we had our treaties all annulled. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, good move. Hmm. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a little tighter than I'd like. Did Russia come in? Yes. Hmm. Denmark, I'm not concerned about at all. Russia, I was slightly concerned about. The events of the Janissaries. Or Lithuania, I'm slightly concerned about. Denmark, I yeah, say. I don't know what Denmark's going to do about it. They can just be mad about it and scowl at you from a distance. I don't want that much. I won't be able to court anyway. Two advisors dying in the same month. Suspicious. <laughs> yeah, it is. If this works, CK too. Yeah. Like, who keeps killing my goddamn marshals? Now I got, like, a three skill. <laughs> God, if I went back to CK2, everything I've ever learned would be completely forgotten. Oh. Like, Plus, so many things have changed. How do I play this game again? It's been CK2 a lot of people. Be, it has to be retired soon. Excuse me? Like they said, um, when they came out with Old Gods, which was like January 2013, February 2013, they were like, uh, we have two more years of CK2 expansions planned. That takes us to... Well, well, like I, I think <laughs> at some point they said they're like adding another three. Okay. Because people still like the CK two expansions. Yeah, that's that's true. I mean, at some point, I, I don't know. It might be nice if like a CK three came out that had an engine that was faster or something like that, because it does it does crawl a bit. But I don't know. Game still has legs. Yeah, I uh, I agree. Ah. Uh, Crap. Mm -hmm. what? Well, missed my missed my opportunity for fun, and now I don't get to have any fun for the rest of the episode, or rest of the series. What happened? Well, I was just going to declare war on Burgundy, who is a prince, and you're the emperor, so you would have to defend him, and uh -huh. 
then I could fight. And then everyone joined the goddamn coalition. Bastards. <laughs> so now yes. it's a little bit different now. Go. NL, join the coalition against mines. I'm busy, man. I've already picked out my, my partner for the last dance. Mm-hmm. Poland? Yeah. We still have two episodes left after this one, though. Do it's we? It's going to be a big war. Yeah, this is number five. Are you sure? Unless I forgot to hit record at one one episode, which <laughs> would... I'm surprised hasn't happened yet. No, you're right. We got two more. This is this is gonna suck. That's <laughs> <laughs> what it's gonna be. So who's in on it right now? Burgundy. Oh, France. Good, good, good. Because up until then, oh, in Spain. All right. Papal States, Savoy, Siena, Tuscany, and Venice. So mostly Spain and France, and maybe a little bit me. Denmark, get out of here. But yeah, Saxony, you should Denmark totally join the coalition up. right now. So that if yeah. it fires, you'll be part of it. I don't want to be a part of the coalition. Yeah, you do. I have no interest in being in this coalition. There's only two more episodes left. I know, but I I want to look impressed. I want to leave a good-looking corpse. I, I was <laughs> gonna say, at some point, we got to make mines pay for all the shit they've put us through. <laughs> all this, uh, this unrest... Which has been happening to me ever since I took all this territory. Uh, worse. Yeah, there you go. They just declared war on me outright. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for not joining the coalition. <laughs> Don't let him manipulate you. Remember what you were just saying to me. No, that's literally why he declared war on you. Oh, I'm aware. <laughs> that's all right. Well, It'll I guess... still look impressive because he can't piece me out in two videos. So and I, I will... can't start the coalition goddamn fucking war. Quill, if only you had not blustered so much. Ah, oh, if only you joined the coalition, you would have been protected. It's all good, I don't care. Ah, oh, now he's going to truce you out. No, there's no time. Yeah, yeah, don't peace out. This should be like the Africa campaign. Exactly. Right? I'm going <laughs> to hold out forever. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. peace out Poland, and, uh, and I'll look very impressive. Awesome. Well, okay, my options are fight Spain, France, Westphalia, Saxony, or fight Saxony, Spain. Why is it always, like, somebody else's mistake, oftentimes yours, leads to me being punished? <laughs> like, it's a misattribution of your rage, I think. I didn't this realize it was pulling in Spain, too. That's really annoying. That's well the played. only way I could, that's the only way I could split Spain off from, from being involved with France. Like, so, it's either... Wait for Northern Line to finish this. You know Northern Line's gonna join the damn coalition after the Polish War. It's Come always on. like, oh, I'm a Roomba. I made a mistake. Uh, time to declare war on Northern Lion. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> you Why does it have to be Mathis. like this? <laughs> Jeez. It's never, I made a mistake, let me declare war on Mathis. Well, I, I'm, I'm protecting Mathis this, th this time, this campaign. <laughs> this, is, this is collusion sure. right here. I'm not doing anything! I'm dealing with my own rebels! Don't pull me into this! Man, this, you fucking declare war on Roomba right now. <laughs> no! <laughs> or, I'm or I'm declaring war on you. Prussia! Oh my god! Wait, 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 wait. What just happened? I, I I'm trying to pause it at the same time. Oh my wait, god! what the fuck? You just inherited France. <laughs> Are you serious?! <laughs> I have France?! Prussia yes. is... Oh my god. My if I do like now, France but will be on Mathis' side. We have formed a personal union with France. They have sworn what their the hell? They have sworn <laughs> their complete allegiance to us, allowing us to rule our nations as one. Fuckers! Alright, can I just say, ever since I started this campaign, every time the little disputed succession comes up, I just royal marriage and hoping I get one. What I the fuck? <laughs> so this ruins the entire coalition against mine as well. <laughs> I'm like, I've got the option of going to war and fighting the succession war. I don't deserve France, but I mean... The problem is, if I do it, I assume I'm going to be... It doesn't tell me, like, you know, who, yep. who would bring who would be called in for alliances. But I assume it would call in, defensively, Sweden, Great Britain, and Russia. Well, yeah, if you... I didn't you, realize if you, uh, allied with mines anymore. If you did it... Oh, you're not? Yeah, he is. No. Oh. How come I missed it? I don't know. Oh, there it is. I miss misreading. Okay, so if you if you do, you're effectively declaring um, a war, an offensive war against Prussia, and France will fight you. Yeah, which is just <laughs> shit, <laughs> fucking piece of shit. God damn it! <laughs> NL. Ah, oh. 
Yeah, so there's nothing I can do. <laughs> I can't declare on mine because A, I have to reach the council. So I can't declare the succession war. I think Mathis just won. <laughs> you guys, Mathis just won this EU4 game. Congratulations, Mathis. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know oh. what I didn't do anything. You penised your way to victory. <laughs> <laughs> just fuck everything and eventually. <laughs> fuck everything, marry everything. Warriors oh, really crap. don't read books. <laughs> <laughs> too busy. Ma oh my god, Mathis, you just won the game. I, I could try supporting independence. Oh man, uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. against Saxony. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I can't believe you would de declare war on me after that. <laughs> what? Why are you declaring war on Saxony? Oh, uh, I got mean, pulled oh, in. Got I got in. pulled in. Yeah, so now France is going to be fighting on Aruma's side. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm happy to just sit this one out. <laughs> <laughs> do, you remember the time, do you remember the time I inherited the Aztec Empire? <laughs> Could you imagine if the, the series just ended here? This would have been a hell of a conclusion. <laughs> but now we get to find out like where this leads, and I don't think it's going to be good. Uh, I don't know. Something just happened. Wait, we'll wait. Okay, Saxony has accepted time. peace. All right, all right. Well, yeah, we'll see you next time. You're about to make like 80 ducats in the first month in war reparations as well, but <laughs> that's okay. Uh, I have no idea what the hell's going on. Don't bring up the Aztec Empire shit, because that just makes me even saltier. <laughs> that I put you on the throne of the Aztec Empire, and you rewarded me by it anyway. We've been we've been down this road many times. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, even though this game's bullshit. And <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs>